Hello everyone, my name is Taylor and welcome back to my channel. Yes, I'm standing here wearing men's undergarments and don't judge me, I'm having a day. It's that time of the month, as you all know, we women have those times. So today I felt like I would be comfortable in a pair of MeUndies that I ordered on accident. Um, it's a long story, you can check out my TikToks if you want to get caught up on what's going on with that. But today, I have a very, very important message to tell you right here, right now. Don't go anywhere. I did my hair like a Star Wars character. Do I look like I could be in the Star Wars land? Maybe? No? Okay. The crazy announcement that I have to tell you before we get started with this video is that my Patreon is having a crazy sale. I never thought I would do this, but I love my fans so much and there's so many people that want to know what's on my $1,000 tier, so I'm doing it 50% off January this month only. So if you've ever wondered what is on this tier, all you have to do is pledge on my $500 tier and all the content from last month, which is December, you will get at the price of $500. Check it out if you're interested or if you're interested in just checking out what I have going on in Patreon. It is linked in the description down below. That's my pitch. I'm getting back to trying on things. It's going to be great. Join me on Patreon. It'll be fun. And Instagram. Everything's down below. And my TikTok. And someone's texting me. What do you want? Like, aren't these so cute though? Like, the MeUndies? My two goals for 2020 is I want to be sponsored by MeUndies and I want to be sponsored by Sheen. Because you know what I did? Sheen, Sheen, whatever you're called. I bought more of your stuff because it's so great. You can't ever go wrong. So today I am doing a cocktail dress Sheen try on haul. Are you all with me? Are you excited? Let's go. Let's get into it. This outfit is brought to you by Me Undies, the brand that hasn't sponsored me yet, but if you guys message them enough, maybe they will sponsor me and that would be amazing. But let's try the very first dress on from Sheen. Um, this is officially my Star Wars get up. If Disney by chance would like to cast me, I would prefer to have this hairstyle with this awesome dress. I am stunned with how it hugs my figure so well. It's nice and short, so it's very flirtatious and fun, but these sleeves, like this cape sleeve look is stunning. It It's truly, I'm baffled for words because it's just so stunning. It fits me perfectly. The cute little shoulder pads in here that add a more like stoic, womanly approach with this look is just a perfect 10 out of 10. And this like deep wine color, like I look like I'm about to take over the galaxy. Like y'all better watch out Kylo Ren and Rey and all of you and Poe. All of you better watch out. I'm gonna have my own ship that I fly, I don't know what it's gonna be called, but it's gonna be epic, and this is my outfit that I'm gonna take over the galaxy in. Like, this is amazing. I, why, like, I started with like the perfect dress. Like, I could wear this out to dinner. I could wear this for a pageant event. I should've wore this for New Year's. This is so much better than my weird outfit that I tried to make work, but I'm like trying to style, so, oh, this is just living. Perfect, 10 out of 10. I gotta try on the rest of these dresses and I'm not gonna waste your time anymore yabbering yeah, about how amazing this one is, but yes, yes. Who wants to take over the galaxy with me? Leave a like and a comment down below. Leave a like if you wanna take over the galaxy with me. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna put on the next one now.
Ignore the fact that I just spilled water all over it and have lipstick on the bottom of this dress. Don't blame the company, blame the consumer. I didn't really know what to think of this dress. I put it on and I went and I looked at myself in the mirror and I'm not sure if I like really love it or if I'm just okay with it because I absolutely love and adore the fit. I think it hugs my curves and my body perfectly, but I don't really think it's something that I usually gravitate towards. I went out and I showed my sister who, uh, she actually called it out on the spot and was like, it's cute, but it's not your style. And I was genuinely shocked that a 10 year old was able to spot and notice my style, which thank you. The, or the lack thereof style, but I still think it's really cute. I think this is something I'll be able to wear to photo shoots just because it, it won't leave any like lines or marks on my body, or at least not too many. I just don't know that this is something I'll be wearing all the time. Luckily, it has a nice fit and it's very um, stretchy, so if you do need some extra stretch in your dresses to hug and cradle your curves. This would be a perfect dress for that. I think Fashion Nova does a good job of making dresses very similar to this where it's very like form flattering, but I think Sheen does its sizes just one more better because this fits me perfectly. The fabric isn't puckering or like slouching in any area that looks awkward, um, which I usually have that problem with Fashion Nova. So this is why I give Sheen with this dress, I give it a 9 out of 10 just based on that fact that it's very curvaceous and very cute, but I just don't know if it's my style. I'm gonna hang on to it because I'm sure there'll be some way that I can use it in the future. Next dress. Now this is a perfect dress for a hot date night, maybe in Miami or in Hawaii. It's a very simple velvet red dress with spaghetti straps and a built-in wire just to hug your curves and your chest so perfectly. I think this is super adorable. I love the way it fits my body. I like how short it is, but I also hate how short it is because if I drop something, I am not bending over to pick it up. You better believe you will be picking it up for me because I can't exactly drop it like it's hot in this dress. <laughs> Otherwise I'll be showing like no tomorrow. <laughs> I do think this dress is extremely adorable. I will give this a 9 out of 10 just because it is simple, it's cute, it fits me very well, the fabric is comfortable, it's nice, but I do find it to be rather boring. It's nothing, like there's no sequins, there's no design. It's just a simple little cocktail dress, which I will definitely be using while I'm in Miami, giving up my title this year, or if I happen to make any appearances, this will be a perfect outstanding yet simple dress to wear to any occasion. Let's see what we have next. Yeah, I probably hate it more than you do. <laughs> this is a very um, interesting dress. I don't really remember why I picked out this dress, but the fabric, it fits me really good. It still has a little bit of stretch to it, but I, I just don't really find it that appealing. Like, I don't really remember why I picked it out or what I was thinking, but yikes, this is not, this ain't it. Honestly, I kind of wonder if it'll fit my mom a little bit better since she's a little fuller figured. She's unfortunately at work right now, so I don't have her to physically try it on right now, but I'm hoping that maybe she will like it. I think she could actually do something really fun and piratey with it. Um, or if she hates it, then I'll probably end up donating it because I think you need a very special event to wear this to. But with sleeves like this, I, I don't know. It, it's really odd. I'd give this one maybe like a five because the initial like bodice of this fits me really well. 
I feel, have a feeling it wasn't that expensive to be honest because if it was more expensive I don't really know why I bought it. It's just not, not what I was expecting at all. And that's okay, you know, like you can't win them all and this one is just definitely not a winner. Color is great, sleeves are just a little too much for me. Let's try on the next dress, we have two left. This is so adorable. I love this one, although it still has the same feel as the other t-shirt dress that I tried on. I just don't really think it's my style, but I kind of am leaning more towards this one than the last one. I don't know if it's the nautical stripes or the cute little pocket up top. I feel like this one is a little bit stretchier on the fabric. Um, even though the other one was still really good, I, this one has like a lot more flexibility in it than the last. It's still adorable, but again, I don't know that t-shirt dresses are really my thing. The model that I did see it wearing had a little bit more of a flatter chest than me, and maybe that's why I bought into these dresses, because I saw how cute they looked, but forgot that I'm very curvy, and a t-shirt top is like not usually something I go for. I'm unfortunately kind of a very sweaty person, <laughs> not to like dump out my baggage on you, but I sweat a lot, so I don't know if I really wanna wear something with sleeves, and I, I don't know why, I don't know what made me buy these. I, I really wanna say it was the model, because she looked so good, but the t-shirt like cuffed top, and like just knowing how much I sweat, I feel like this is just gonna make for an uncomfortable outfit for me. But I have a feeling that I'll be able to wear it somewhere, Probably just like going into my photo shoot since it is so baggy. Um, it's a nice cute like check-in outfit if I am going to check in at like a hotel. It still says like, you know, classy but you know, in a reserve sort of way. So it's not a bad dress, it's just not the dress for me, honestly. Still super cute though, don't you think? Don't forget to comment down below which dress is your favorite, and also, if you still are here, don't forget that on my Patreon, the behind the scenes in between changes of these outfits are available. So don't forget to double check on Patreon, click that link and see if there's anything that you might be interested in. These vlogs are really cute and they're super fun because I talk to you guys about the different outfits, what I like and dislike, and you get to see all the wardrobe changes. All right, last dress, here we go. This is another one of those special occasion dresses. Honestly, I like the red velvet dress that I tried on earlier a little bit better than this one. Not only because it has straps, but I think it like, fit my figure a little bit better. This one, the fabric is a little slouchy. Like it doesn't sit on me as perfect as the last one did. Like anytime I kind of like move around, it just, it kind of like bags up and dumps up a little bit, which isn't, you know, the dress's fault. It's more of like me because I don't, fit the exact inch requirement of this one. I just think it's again, it's a simple dress. It'd be perfect again for Miami when I go to give up my titles. So you'll probably see me wearing this a lot during that weekend just because it'll be a perfect opportunity to wear like tight fitted, shorter dresses. It's still very cute, don't get me wrong. It's just not, it's not phenomenal. Like no one's gonna like point me out of a crowd in this outfit. Or, Maybe you will, comment down below if you'd be like, yeah girl, I'd point you out. I think, honestly, the best way to make these dresses that are understated like this is a huge statement piece necklace or some sort of like big earrings or like rings or something because 
it's just very simple so it leaves a lot of room for playing with jewelry which is great not a bad thing at all it's just not my style of dress like I usually like my dress to be the statement piece since I don't really wear jewelry that often but nonetheless it's still a beautiful dress I still really like it but yeah I'm probably gonna give this one like an 8 out of 10 it's just not like the stellar outfit that I thought it would be Comment down below, you guys, which dress was your favorite. And don't forget, like I said twice in this video, I know, check out Patreon for the behind the scenes of all of these outfits. And also, like, don't forget, if you are interested, Patreon, you can sign up. I am doing my $1,000 tier. It's on sale for $500. So if you've always been curious what's on there, check it out, message me, let's chit chat. I would love to answer any of your questions or any of your concerns. Don't forget to follow me where it's free on Instagram. It's literally free. Follow me there. I interact with my fans and I let you guys pick what YouTube videos I do coming up next. So please check it out. And then also you guys don't forget to subscribe because the more subscribers we get, the bigger our party will be. Yes. My goal is to hit a hundred thousand this year, which should be doable, especially with all these try on hauls. Come on guys, help me out. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a magical day and I hope magical things happen to all of you. Bye everyone. Happy New Year.